Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have the first bottle with 10 years of age from the McMurra distillery in Sweden, in Gävle, north of Stockholm. And uh, I visited this distillery in 2015 and uh, they moved to a new premise, the gravity distillery, where everything is put into a huge tower and uh, well this one is from the old still from the old distillery they used before because the new distillery was erected or the first run was done in 2011 i think and uh, this one is from the old one an old mill i think it was and uh, i'll have a look at the description yeah the first one 10 years old 46.1 percent abv 0.7 liter bottle and I'm sorry I forgot to look up the price of this whiskey uh, I would suggest I guess 70 70 euros dollars pounds rough guess might be more probably not less <laughs> yeah uh, North Europe Northern Europe is quite expensive McMurra 10 years is a Swedish single malt whiskey produced in a limited edition. Mm, I'm sorry. Mm. Matured for 10 years on high quality bourbon, Oloroso, and new American oak casks. So that means uh, the casks were filled before by bourbon, the others by Oloroso sherry, a fruity sherry one, not very sweet, and new American oak casks that are those casks which are used primarily for the first fill of bourbon into. This whiskey has an elegant character with notes of vanilla, green fruit, caramel and smooth oak. Ten years is best enjoyed as it is ah, neat, not on ice, before or after dinner. We started the production of Sweden's first single malt whiskey back in 1999. So this one with an age of 10 years is from 2006 probably. So they were already seven years, six to seven years into production. So this is not <laughs> from the first mistakes. So this is definitely uh, a running production, an optimized running production. Surrounded by grain fields to the south and woods in the north, our whiskey is produced here using classic mythology, but with local Swedish ingredients driven by curiosity and the desire to experiment. We question old accepted truth and create our own path. To us, whiskey is about looking forward. McMurra is the pioneer and innovator who started the Swedish whiskey expedition, a journey that, that has just begun. Yeah. So the McMurra distillery is one of the really, really tidy, extremely automated, automatic, automated distilleries. A wonderful piece of work this uh, gravity distillery and uh, but this one is from the old I've never seen that I just saw a picture of that distillery <clears throat> so this is it and again a plastic cork more and more popular in Central Europe so you avoid all those cracking corks and problems with the cork and the new plastic corks uh, they are made from more stable corks uh, chemical stable corks so that you do not have the smell from plastic those weakeners in it no longer there so this is for a dealer a good thing because there won't be any retours <sighs> complex full showing a top note of Oloroso sherry and a layer of vanilla and caramel below, probably from the first fill American white oak casks. Quercus alba, yeah. And it's an, an elegant, not too demanding, but already quite complexity 
showing different aromas and the vanilla grows stronger from sniff to sniff. You have to, to find the right distance for the vanilla. If you're going more in, you have more alcohol and you're going further out, then it's more the Oloroso Sherry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Full mouthfeel, quite some power, 46%, and a wonderful oak together with a sherry note and now starting some some oranges and no bitterness at all very well chosen those casks and it's a creative work to bring all those three casks together and the uh, McMurray distillery uh, works with huge big casks where they mature whiskey for a longer time and then they, they have those small uh, casks 30 liters less than 10 gallons in which whiskey matures really fast and uh, so this one has to be from the slower maturing casks because otherwise 10 years in a small cask it would be incredible okay so this one is just well for 10 years perfect and the the amount of sherry brings first the color and uh, well also this uh, oloroso fruity smell and the first fill the really first fill juvenile fill of the expert uh, yes american white oak cast which are typically used for filling in uh, raw white dog from the bourbon industry they bring the darker color as well Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned as always and feel free to share this video with your friends.